Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to another Art of Conquest video. Like usual, this is Legend Rooney and I have finally got into the void and done some perfect stages. And as you read into the description, I've done it without borrowing troops. So without any help, I've managed to done 91 up to 96 perfect. I recorded them on my phone and now I'm just playing the video and add a little bit of me on the background. Also gonna talk about it like usual. So if you find this video interesting, please drop a thumbs for your boy Legend Ronnie. And if you are an Art of Conquest fan, you can also drop a share. Now let's get into it, I will try to make it this as short as possible. So this is stage 91. <clears throat> As you can see, the setup it's pretty standard. You don't really need the gold match. You can do it without the gold match. But I have the extra gold capacity, so I do have a couple of gold match. I have four groups of snipers, and you can see that they are they don't have the 12 research. There are only 10 of them in a group. And I have five group of gold blasters. And I also don't have the 12 research on them, they are 8 in a group. The reason I'm not doing the last research on my troops is because you can have more gold groups. It's same with the match. If you do the 12 research, then obviously it's gonna add another match and that's like going to be 6 in a group. And if you want to do like a full front of gold match, you'll also need a lot more gold capacity. So for now, I prefer not to have that 12 research maxed out. So this is like a standard setup. I have Gevga down there somewhere. You can you can see his uh, his ability. Obviously Grims, Nora, and the other hero. Fire off is the standard ability that you use. And because of the speed and moral boost and all that, the second thing you want to use is the reload from greens and you might have to try this a couple of times because you need to you need critical hits from the dead eye or the snipers how you want to call them you need them to critically hit the boats in order to get this perfect now i'm gonna get onto the next video This is stage 92, I'm basically using the same formation as the last time. I'm sorry, this is stage 93, the previous one was 92, this one is 93. So this is stage 93, this is the setup I used to done it perfect. I just tried it a couple of times because my gap guy was keep getting injured, you can see it down there. He was keep dying, so I did try it a couple of times until I've done it perfect without him dead. But this is the setup I used to done it perfect. I just tried it a couple of times. You can see it's perfect. So this was stage 93. Now I'm going to go into the next video. And I think on this video stage 94 i'm not sure if it's this one but i think on this one i've done it perfect you can see that i, I have silver here already so it's, it was going a little bit harder for me i have injured troops and dead troops <clears throat> so i was i had to keep retry it in order to do it perfect it took me a couple of tries I will see if it was this one or the other one, but it might have been this one. No, it wasn't this one. It might have been this one. But the setup is the same. I didn't care about injury on this one because I was having already too much silver in the in the setup. But I knew I could have done it perfect, it was just a matter of critical hits from my snipers have 
defeated an enemy legion. Creation is born of chaos. We have them on the back foot. I think this is was the one where I found it perfect. We are on our way to yes. This has been served. And that was with two groups of silver blasters. Yes, you can see two groups of silver blasters. So this was stage 94. And this is stage 95. Let me show you what I can do. You can see that I have full full groups of gold on this one. I could have probably retried and, and done it a lot better. Hope for some uh, more critical hits from the snipers. But I was pretty happy about the results. The only problem is that the top blasters they went out of fire off because they expand the ammo so fast and their fire off finished so some of them got injured but I've done it perfect in like 25 seconds yeah in 25 seconds so I was I was pretty hyped about it so that's stage 95 perfect you can see that there is no borrowing troops there is nothing special it was just the setup. The temple boosts the troops quite a lot and thanks to, to the dragon now they also boost it very very much. I was quite thinking a little bit about it and this is stage 96. But at that point I, I didn't really care. They were going perfect like one after another so I was like you know it doesn't matter I'm trying for months to do this perfect. Now they are one after another I said, just let it go. <clears throat> so stage 96 and this should be the last one for today and at, at this point Considering that it's stage 96, I really didn't care if all my troops would have, would have died. I just wanted to do it perfect. If it's done it perfect, I was like, that's it. I was struggling so much with that stage 92, to be honest. It was giving me a lot, a lot of headache. Since I passed that one, all the other stages, this seems to be very very easy, but that 92 stage was pretty hard. And there it is, stage 96, perfect! How about that? In addition to, to this video, let me just pause this. In addition to this video, I will add a Dragon Raid. This is my setup for Dragon Raid as Darth. It pretty much works on all on all dragons, I think except the Onyx one. I think on Onyx one, I don't manage to. But I, with this setup, I get 12 chests. So I just wanted to share with you if you want to loan troops or, or not. And obviously... I don't loan troops from anyone because in the kingdom that I am there is no one to loan troops from, from there is no one to help me so I have to do things on my own so I do not borrow troops from anyone and I get 12 chests like 90% of the raids 90% of the raids I get 12 chests on these raids using these setups Denji is very important in this raid because of the weakened armor. You can see that broken shield on top of the dragon. That means that the dragon takes 25% uh, more damage. When Denji does that weakened armor on the dragon, the dragon takes 25% more damage. And that helps a lot. Obviously, if you want to borrow troops, a turtle is, or turtle is something in this raid. It helps you a lot. The boost. Also the timing of the abilities, the reload ammo, you have to watch like most of your troops, no, don't just spam reload ammo. You can see that I, after like one minute I've done the reload, 
just to make sure they will have enough ammo until the end. I used fire off on this one. You could have wait the fire off until the last one. Or at least use fire off like on these troops to finish them sooner so you, you get the dragon. Because I think I've done only like 11 chests, if I'm correct on this one. I don't use Bane in the dragon raids because of the taunt. Uh, Bane keeps taunting the dragon and the dragon doesn't fly away because of the taunt and that's a bit of a problem. As I mentioned, it usually is 12 chests. You can see it's like 11 chests on this one, almost 12, but it usually is 12 chests. It's just a little bit of mess up with the cooldowns. It's very important to do the abilities right. Like reload ammo and fire off. You, you can't just throw them away just like that. You might run out of ammo. But it granted me 12 chests, so that's the reward for 12 chest so i hope this video was very helpful i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you on the next video i'm working on the last four stages in the void so until next time this is legend rooney and i wish you all a very nice weekend peace out